I put this shit in 720 because this should not be looking like that. My bad, y'all. I know I stopped it. If you watching the stream, uh, shout out to Matt, bro. That's my guy, bro. If you watching the stream after I uploaded it. Nigga, on. But Game Informer has still given us 15 hey. new gameplay details from The Last of Us Part 2, and this is going to be the closest we can get to an actual review until June 11th. So we'll go through all of these 15 details in this video, so make sure you guys watch the video till the end. And without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Nigga said I'm just bad now the first out of 15 <laughs> gameplay details Yo. is about Ellie as a character in game, where Game Informer says that Ellie is angry. While she's still recognizable as the character from the original game, it's clear that her quest for revenge is taking a toll on her. And as an example, I made Ellie stealthily assassinate a patrol of WLF soldier, and though he had done her no specific wrong, she still spat a disgusting effort at him as he died. Now that sounds like Ellie is indeed going to be pretty badass in like part Joel. 2, and nothing like the little Ellie we all once knew from the prequel. Now the next thing Game Informer said is that Ellie can be pretty funny. Though the tone is generally pretty grim, Gotta Ellie have occasionally says some, you know some entertaining that? things while talking to herself. Like for example, fake. after Absolutely trying did. an improbable but effective puzzle solution, she kind of congratulates herself by saying that that was pretty smart, Ellie. And also after a harrowing sequence that has one thing after another going wrong, she finally catches her breath and says, Frack Seattle. Now that seems like Ellie will be a pretty funny character Ellie's in been the game, like that, and though. she will indeed talk Ellie's to her. Ellie's always been like that crazy type of girl. Like even when she was a kid, she's always been wild. You know what I'm saying? Like she didn't have a she have a heart yet, but it wasn't like you know what I'm saying. Ellie always been a bitch. <laughs> Facts. Herself while doing things around like Deacon St. John, for example, who by the way is the protagonist of Days Gone. So if you played Days Gone, then you would probably know that Deacon was pretty much a True, chatterbox. Facts. Everybody now, the like next the stream, detail share the stream. is about the new stealth system, where Game Informer says that stealth is going to be very satisfying. Now, I enjoyed the original The Last of Us, but it seems like most of the encounters were destined to become firefights. Now, though going full stealth was indeed possible in the first game, the limited options meant that I would usually end up alerting the bad guys eventually. But in The Last of Us Part 2, it seems more feasible to remain Wait. undetected through an encounter. Now in one part which has Ellie evading scars, a faction at war with the WLF through a park by staying low in the grass using stealth kills and welding quiet weapons like bow and silence pistol, I was still able to take out all of those enemies hey. without even being detected. Now I heard on Twitter that on the hardest difficulty, um... It's so hard to hide from niggas. Like, it's not hard, but it's more, way more realistic. Like, Survivor is going to be the hardest uh, difficulty. That's what I heard on Twitter um, or saw on Twitter. And that Grounded comes later in a patch or something like that. That's what I, I don't know, I guess. And I heard, like, they, 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 they look more. You know how, like, in some games they go on their little path and shit like that? Like, you know how it be. Um, Last of Us 2, not like that. They actually looking behind them, looking on their side, looking down. You know what I'm saying? Especially on Survivor, they're going to be looking, like, looking, looking in the grass type shit deeper into all that. So, it's going to be hard on Survivor. Survivor's the hardest difficulty so far, right before Grounded. It's going to be crazy, though. Now, this is kind of like the open level design that I've talked about on my previous video. Now, if you guys want to know how the new map designing works in The Last of Us Part 2, then go check out that video on my channel, which will be down below in the description as well as in my playlist. So in The Last of Us Part 2, it seems like Way you can crazier. literally go explore Way each crazier. levels back and forth, however the player Lassie, sees fit. Up, so it's pretty much going to be something like a semi-open world there game, go. except it there being go. a level instead of the open world. Now the next detail we have is there the new go. customization Who's difficulty settings. Zone? Now Game Informer says, I played through the hospital infiltration on a few different challenging settings and the gulf between them is going to be very much noticeable. However, you aren't bound to define modes like easy, normal uh -huh. or even harder. You can also fine tune specific elements of the experience like how much damage Ellie takes, how perceptive enemies are right. and how plentiful resources are in the world. That's what so I was the gameplay is kind of customizable according to how the players exactly want their experience to be like. So you don't really have to feel the grind in the game 
game if you don't really want to. So you can also choose to take less damage to your characters so you don't really die quick. Or you can also select more collectible crafting items in the world so that right. the casual gamer groups are not going to be feeling very much frustrated or even feel the way that the game is being too hardcore for them. So it seems like you can play the game any way you choose to. And this customizable difficulty settings is something that has never been seen before in any other video games. Oh, like so technically, all right, you can play on Survivor and have your customizable, you can have your difficulty customizable. That's like some 2K slider shit. You know what I'm saying? The sliders on 2K, niggas be putting that shit on Hall of Fame. But I'll like, what I'll do is like, I'll switch it up. If I'm beating a team ass on Hall of Fame, I'll switch to the other team, put their sliders all the way up so they can get a couple steals and, and shoot a couple threes, then switch back to my team on um on um my league and shit like that. So it could be a close game type shit. That shit be lit, bro. That shit be lit. So it's technically like sliders. Technically, that's what he's saying. That's dope. I like, like the last best part two is surely going to be setting a whole new trend for all the upcoming video games on the next gen. Now next up we have some crazy good information about the side story content. So this is what Game Informer Andrew. said. As Girl. I advanced through Seattle, I saw a handful of places off the critical path like the liquor store mm -hmm. and an apartment complex. And exploring these spots are going to be carrying some risks since they can be full of infected or even other humans. Like some days but they also shit. have rewards in terms of gameplay and other side stories. Now, for example, in the so. liquor store, I learned that the infected were once WLF soldiers looking for a group of deserters. And as I started exploring the world in an apartment, I found that the deserters, I actually did end up finding finding those group of deserters along with a rare manual that unlocks a new skill tree wait i learned the effect that there were uh wait i learned the effect that there were once oh so there was a group of deserters yo that's fucking tough a new skill that's fucking crazy bro so there was some there was it's this game so fucking detailed to the point that it was old Deserters or old people that old soldiers that, was, that, that old soldiers soldiers that are with then it's a tongue twister old soldiers that are with the WLF right she found them she found out that they were or that they became infected that's fucking crazy bro that that's crazy that's wow bro so like I like that man that's fucking tough bro. to improve at least everything. explosives. So it seems like the game is going to have side stories, which is very interesting. Like these little side quests that could be connected with the main story. Oh, it's a side story. They can only be found by exploring the entire map. Y'all know it seems me. Like Looting is everything. Pay off with some collectible items and crafting recipes as rewards. And the plus side is that you will get to see what these hidden stories are, right. which is why I think Neil Druckmann said that you cannot complete the full game in just one playthrough, and you're basically gonna need to play the game multiple times in order to explore and find additional story Ooh, content. Oh, I can't now, the wait. Next we have is about the locked secret doors in the game. So Game Informer shares one of his memorable experience with a locked door in a level where he says that to gain access to one apartment, I just needed to break a window and jump in to circumvent Kenzo, the locked know. door. But it's care. not <laughs> always going to be that easy. In the conference center, I saw... Wait, locked doors don't mean you can't get in to access... Wait, to gain access to one apartment... I just needed to break a window and jump into But it's not always that easy. In a conference center, I saw a bunch of ammo and upgraded part or upgrade parts sitting on sitting on a table in a seemingly inaccessible room. It won't spoil the full solution, but getting in there involves or involved using the environment and the object yo this shit's gonna be fucking crazy so there's gonna be areas that you can't even get in but you gotta work your way around it and try to find a way to get in that shit uh joseph you so sexy motherfucking no cat bro i know <laughs> <laughs> oh shit that shit crazy though you could do a lot of a shit on this of game ammo bro. and upgrade parts sitting on locked doors do not mean you can't get in there will be a way my nigga a on table in a seemingly inaccessible room i won't spoil the full solution days. for you guys but getting into that room involves environment and the objects that ellie can find around her now that seems very interesting and it sounds like the game has a lot of hidden items locked behind some puzzles and you will now have to use the environment in order to solve these puzzles and get those items so they got more puzzles and shit
Uncharted? No. Now they also talked about the environment details. Places like the apartment, liquor store, and conference center don't just feel like they're copied and pasted from a bank of okay. assets. And it's not just about looking good graphically. Each one feels like a considered space, space that once served its purpose, purpose in the world. world. From like decoration that. on the wall of a bedroom to the desk arrangements in an office space, Ellie's surroundings is going to feel more authentic. I like so they're that. not going to feel like areas created just to fill space in a video game. Nice. Now, they've also given us some new Detail. information about the stalkers who are going to be one of the infected variants in the last trust part 2. Now this is what game informer said. As in the previous game, these infecteds are difficult Think to detect up. as they attempt to sneak up on Ellie and the tension is terrifying. In one memorable session on the way to the hospital, Ellie needs to cross a series of rooms full of these brutal hunters. Though I successfully maintained a stealth past several of them, a shrieking stalker eventually jumped on me and alerted its they friends, stalkers are the which worst. triggered a panic Those video are that, be hot that this ended shit, right? with a pile of dead stalkers and a shortage of shotgun shells. So it seems like stalkers in the part 2 are going to be one of those jump scare moments when you encounter them. Ah. And you will also have to make sure that every one of your bullets are going to be counted. I'm tripping. Now they've also shared some new gameplay options that you will be able to customize fucking. in the I game. And they're going to be in including gameplay. wide array of adjustments that you will be able to make or to the visuals of the gameplay. Which will include features such as colorblind mode, HUD magnifications, remapping controls, and infinite breath while swimming underwater are just a handful of options that illustrates on how Naughty Dog has kept players with disabilities in mind. Abby swole as shit. She's not, she's not, she's not transgender, y'all stupid motherfuckers. The, one, the people that are saying that. She's bro, bro, she's like Broly times 10. Abby strong as fuck, bro. But no, that bitch swole. Like, she swole. Like, she like 240 swole. You know, that bitch big. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, she at least 220. Easy. And she's trained. You got to think. It's it's a difference between a regular bodybuilder that's a woman and, you know, whatever with strength than a woman that's actually big as fuck, bodybuilder type body, and that's trained to kill. She's trained to kill, my nigga. So, at the end of the day, no, she's not strong. Or, no, a regular guy is not stronger than her. Like, she's trained to do this shit. And she's not trans. Now the next big detail we have is the new gameplay and cutscene transitions and loading screens. Now according to Game Informer, the action flows pretty much very smoothly between the cutscenes and player control sections without actually having all of those loading screens breaking up the action. For example, he says <laughs> that I watched a cinematic sequence of Ellie being tossed around underwater and when she's emerged, I was back in control. Wait, now, wait, I gotta, I gotta bring that back. I, I gotta bring that back. I without actually it. having all of the... Next big detail right, we, we, we have go. is the new gameplay and cutscene transitions and loading screens. Now, according to Game Informer, the action flows pretty much very smoothly between the cutscenes and player control sections without actually all having need. all of those loading screens breaking up the action. For example, he says that I watched a cinematic sequence of Ellie being tossed around underwater, and when she's emerged, I was back in control. control. Now the That's only like loading screen War, I remember seeing Uncharted. was when I died and had to respawn and also when I was saving or even loading my game. Mm. Now that actually sounds very incredible to see that Naughty Dog has completely eliminated the loading screens between the gameplays and the game seems As to they transition should. from cutscenes into gameplays in extremely flawless ways. As they so should. that way you don't really lose the immersion between a gameplay and a cutscene. And they've also said that the game is going to be having 20 manual save slots 20 and manual one save, save slot. slot. Jesus Now the next big Lord. detail we have is regarding <laughs> the player choices in the game. Now Game Informer says that most video games don't ask you to think twice about killing dozens of gun tarting gods. But The Last of Us Part 2 is going to make violence feel more personal. It is personal. It's personal because she out for revenge. She trying to kill niggas. Beyond the fact that all of the enemies support. can call out each other's name along with their pet dogs. They also have interaction between each other that hints at their lives beyond be being cool an obstacle to life. Ellie. Now for Fuck example, that, right outside the hospital, I caught two gods in mid-conversation as they walked by and this is what the conversation said. The first yeah, they do says, call each other by name. Girl waiting for me at the FOB. And the second one replies with, are you shitting me? They actually put you with Joe again? And they keep chatting as they pass by. And it's really hard not to think about Joe and her reaction as I sneak up on her partners with my knife drawn. Yo, you know what's dope um, in the gameplay? If you kill any, if you kill any fucking person and they're, and they're, um, 
and their partner technically or their co-worker if you want to be real uh whatever you want to call it they will literally like um call them by their name like hey such and such is dead like hey michael's dead michael's just 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 i just found michael on the fucking floor what the hell is going on like what like who the fuck did like that shit that's how realistic this game is or detail wise that's how dope that shit is now, he's not, in his, not in his 40s he is not in his 40s he is he's really in his late 50s and how rough that's gonna make you feel like now they don't feel like the joel was in his 40s or late 40s at that in the last of us mindless aggressive animals that players often encounter Killing in other dogs games, is rough. these dogs actually feel like someone else's pets and my approach to the People hospital get sad was as everything we killed a dog by my reluctance to killing a dog named bear who was patrolling in that position Damn. now it seems like every character and every dog in the game are personal. going to have their own personal lives yeah. and the game will kind of make you feel really bad for killing them because they are going to feel like a real characters in real Fuck life him. and the pet dogs are also going to feel much more realistic and we are all probably going to hold that guilty feeling for all the decisions that we make in you the game do what you which do. actually sounds very realistic and also gives players the choice to play the way they want and maybe this is get what hundred in here meant when he said that you're going to feel the emotions that these characters feel in the game right. when you are playing as them. Right. And all of these informations is nothing but pure excitement to my ears. And the final detail given by Game Informer is that even if they talked about the story stuff right now, you would still enjoy the full game. Of course, but of why course would they I also mentioned that the less you know now, the more you will enjoy the experience when you're playing it for yourself on exactly. June 19th. Now, these are some really exciting new gameplay details for the last transport 2 and we are only a few days away from the game releasing globally and i'm still <laughs> waiting for my review copy of the game which naughty dog said that they are going to be trying to get me one if sony pr team is good with the decisions yo i'm trying i emailed naughty dog i emailed playstation i emailed fucking sony themselves i emailed everybody so i could get a review copy bro but i haven't gotten nothing yet so i haven't gotten the email back or nothing so i'm just trying to uh I'm just trying to see what's going on. Hopefully, I'm 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 gonna try to hit Blackwoods up, see if he could get a word in for me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I could probably possibly get a review copy and um drop my review in this game. You know, I want to review the whole thing, no spoilers and everything. So that'll be tough. That's what I want to do, man. But nothing is really confirmed yet, so I'm still waiting for a reply from I'm the community for a reply manager. As well, and Naughty bro. Dog, I've actually spoken, and it's gonna take a couple of days to see what Sony has to say about it. So that's all I have for today's video, folks. If you guys did go I on and enjoy Neil, this video, then everybody. please don't hesitate to leave a like. Two giveaways for The Last of Us 2. I'm doing one giveaway for strictly my members and another giveaway for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's real. I think I got a plan. A dollar to win the giveaway. You got to donate a dollar in order to win the giveaway. Y'all can't tell me that's not clutch. That is like the best thing ever. Donate a dollar to possibly win The Last of Us 2. And you get your, if you donate a dollar, you get your name written in, inside of a box. And then, I, ooh, that's fire. So that's what we're going to do, bro. That's that, that might be the plan. That might be the plan. It's going to be a raffle. Ooh, that'd be tough. That'd be that tough. You said, can't tell me that won't be guys tough. Have a blast over today, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Till then, take care, fans, and goodbye. That's a great video. That, hey, that great video, bro. Great video. Great video, man. Great video. Yeah, uh, I'm going to catch y'all, bro. Thank y'all for pulling up. Uh, shout out to Blackwoods, yeah, I'm gonna do a uh, giveaway stream, like, talking about the giveaway, the giveaway rules, announcement video, announcement stream, alright, so that's gonna be dope, so everybody could donate their dollar, and whatever the fuck, put your name in the box, no, actually, yeah, that's gonna, that's how it's gonna work, that's how it's gonna work, if you donate, if you donate, the amount that you donate, that's how many times your name will be put in the box, ooh, that's fire, bro, I can't, yo, that's the giveaway, my members, if you're a member, you don't have to do that if you're a member. If you're a member, you automatically get your name in the box. That Y'all got your own separate giveaway. The members got their own separate giveaway. And the other giveaway is going to be a raffle. Fire. Fire. Y'all can't tell me that's not fire. And the amount of money that y'all send, that's the amount of times I will write your name in the fucking shit, bro. Facts. I swear to God. All right? Definitely. Definitely. This shit going to be fire. But, hey, y'all. Y'all take care. And um, I'm going to catch y'all, man. Peace, man. Peace, peace, peace. Everybody hopped on the bandwagon again. So, you know, everybody's going to be buying this shit. Everybody's going to be pre-ordering this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I told y'all, bro. Listen to me when I tell y'all shit, bro. Because people be out here just talking, bro. People be out here just talking, bro. 
don't know what the fuck they talking about, bro. I told y'all this was gonna happen. I knew 